All right, you guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Noble Elf Show. Thank you to all the angels and the gods and the ancestors out there. Thank you, thank you, thank you to Copper Aborigines. Thank you, Copper Aborigines, you rock. <laughs> A huge thank you to you. I, you know, there's times that I get overwhelmed sometimes when people send me stuff that I don't understand. Thank you to Divine this year for sharing, though. I really appreciate it because, you know, people share with us all kinds of weird and wonderful stuff here, and I really got to sometimes take some time to ask some questions. All right, you guys, you can join us here on our online tutor school class. You can join our email group. You can email us for that at themullingsatgmail.com where we share information as it comes in, as it makes sense to us, and we're guided to share it, right, and stuff. Some of the stuff you guys we get, we do not share if it's crap or it doesn't make any sense to us, right? You can also join, you can visit us on our new website. I'll put the link in the description below. And... Um, you can also visit us on our two, uh, YouTube channels, Noble Ella, Noble Ella the second and like, share, subscribe, you guys. Now, for those of you in need of private email consultation, you can email us. We will do our best. We do our best to answer you guys at the wee hours of the morning. Sometimes you guys will get an automatic message because they've set it up that way, right? Which helps us out here a little bit. Um, and then we respond shortly thereafter, right? Um, if we're answering somebody else's questions or we're resting or out or away from the computer, we do our best to answer as much as we possibly can. All right. Now, for those of you, and this is the only thing I know you guys that works, and it works for everybody, is these GSA bonds. I cannot even, I'm so grateful to the powers that be for sharing these with me and the people that shared with me that they worked and they got their automobiles back. They got their children returned from... CPS, they got their mortgages and uh, um, things set off. They got their houses back. People reported to us. They got their automobiles back that was stolen from them. It's a GSA bonds, you guys. So to set off matters such as, and they got their, yeah, warrants. And those of you having parole, yeah, they got those set off as well. It's the GSA bonds. So to set off matters, it's the GSA bonds for things like child support cases, Mortgages, foreclosures, tickets, citations, utilities, auto loans, student loans. And for those of you having to see an agent doing business as parole officer, as well as those of you in the churches doing business as jails for non-violent offenses, right? You can email us at themullingsatgmail.com for things like weed. Some people are in there for like, yeah, minor stuff, right? All right. Um, it's the GSA bonds to set off matters. And then they tell us to do the 1099 OID. They told us it's $2 million per charge, you guys. We did not get back that much, but we did get back something significant and stuff that we're still grateful for to this day. So you can do the GSA bonds to get back the finances they claimed you owe. Now, housekeeping, you guys. Remember, please, please, please support us here. Go to PayPal at themillings.gmail.com. We do usually ask for $1 per video. You guys are free to donate to us as much as you wish or are able to. We really appreciate it because it helps us out here to continue doing all this research morning, noon, and night. All right, now, Attention Office of International Criminal World Court, the Army, the Navy, the Military, the Marines, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Michael Flynn, and all that is good globally, Interpol in France, and all the good people globally that are helping us to get free. Oh, God, I come to you in good faith and once proper person, Surrey, Jury, Surrey, heiress, heir to the world's vast estate, American Indian, a loyal title, Moorish American national, national, Rubus, Red Rose, angel in Latin, asexual seed plant. Um, all right. Um, yeah, living flesh and blood sentient being. Go now quickly to the agents doing business as family court actors doing business as judges, as it was just reported to us, I think it was yesterday and stuff, that a lot of these actors, agents, you guys doing business as judges are involved in the same PEDO stuff. And if that's true, and they're out there taking away people's children too, Go and round them up, international authorities. Go and deal with them on our behalf. Because I was so distraught yesterday. They sent me this video. I was so pissed out when I heard this agent that was supposed to be helping us saying that we're supposed to go now and um, do all this stuff with these um, agents doing business as actor judges. And um, in lieu of... What I was sensing was a lot of us had served them and we we're taking the path of the, the path of least resistance, which is the GSA bonds to serve them, right? To get the matter set off. 
A lot of us have already written to these agents, actors, doing business as judges with our affidavits written in the natures of discovery, all the stuff that we were taught to do that didn't work, right? So now we know these work, so we're utilizing this stuff. However, someone was saying that we need to go into the courts and talk about um, the Constitution, which we know a lot of the people are not in their proper person and stuff, which is why so many of the people ended up in the so-called churches business, doing business as jails, right? And what I was thinking of, and what I'm going to talk about in a minute, um, I'm going to share with you guys some stuff that was just revealed to us. So, um, again, thank you, Copper Aborigines, because you know I was just sitting here by the grace of God trying to make sense of some stuff, and I had to write to the international authorities to get some help with overstanding what was going on, right? So go now and round up those agents doing business as family court entities, actors doing business as judges for their involvement. Investigate first and see if it's true, if they're really involved in the PDO stuff too. And if that's the, the case, is that the reason why they were taking away the people's children under the auspices of the CPS um, Corporation? child protective service agents was that what was going on you see what i'm saying so go and do the research on that if that's the case go and round their their behinds up for genocide war crimes against humanity racketeering fraudulent conveyance of language peonage identity theft identity theft identity theft copyright infringement intellectual property theft go and do that do that on our behalf globally now internationally for us heirs here who are politically protected internationally holding the highest diplomatic office, holding the highest diplomatic office, holding the highest diplomatic office. Thank you in advance for your speedy response to that matter. Round up all the finances they've generated and the profits they've generated from all the treason and genocide and send it back to all of us whose children were stolen by these very same entities across the entire world planet from Canaanite land, Canada to the so-called United States, to all the other territories globally. Go and do that now. Thank in advance for your speedy response to this matter by Noble Honorable Ange Elena D. Alpha L. Rubenite Tribe Chief, American Indian. Send us back all the profits this night globally, right? From all the stuff generated over there too. And anyone else that you find in those offices doing the very same, Round their behinds up, collect all the profits generated, and send it back to us. Thank you in advance for your speedy response to that matter by Noble Honorable Angelina D. Alpha L. Ruben I Tribe Chief. Now, also go and speak to Russell Gould and find out clearly, because I'm about to read something here. Divine wisdom of the seer kept telling me I had to put it out there. So I said I had to just get some information, do some research on it like I normally do in certain situations too because the ancestors were not pleased with him as he never mentioned us, as mentioned earlier in the other videos and stuff. Ask him now, does any of what he's doing pertain to the Indians? I'll wait. Does it pertain to the Moorish American nationals? I'll wait. Does it pertain to those of us heirs holding the highest diplomatic office with this syntax for adverb, quantum uh, language, this grammar? That he's speaking of go and find out from him right now i'll wait once you get the information send it to me but the ancestors as you know have already told us we're going to read it to you in a minute thank you in advance for your speedy response to that matter by and tell him to make it clear in his videos that it does not pertain to the indigenous people the indians the original indigenous people on the planet who is has a covenant that owns all the lands globally known as timbuktu indian country america Morocco, Maghreb, the North Gate. All right? Tell him to make it clear in his videos so the people can understand what's really going on because when we explain it to them, they seem to have difficulty hearing us, as you can see, right? Thank you in advance for your speedy response to this matter by Noble Honorable Ange Elena D. Alfred L. Ruben, I Tribe Chief, American Indian, a loaded title, Moorish American National, UCC 1-308 without recourse, all rights reserved. I stand by the Book of Ruth by my deceased organ harvested husband and myself, Jackson. Now, I want to share with you guys a story. You know, I was telling you in several of the other videos a number of things. Um, when we, people started using this, um, 
I remember hearing about David Windmiller putting out um, the adverb verb syntax and that a lot of these dead pledges known as mortgages were in fact um, when they broke it down in the grammar actually stated no contract no contract no contract we agreed with that no problem the only situation that we found however was that a lot of people a few people we knew had gone into these buildings doing business as courts um, trying to use the David Windmiller information with the grammar the quantum grammar, the syntax verb, the adverb, noun, whatever, in these buildings um, doing business as courts. And when it, what ended up happening to them, you guys? We later discovered that these agents, actors, doing business as judges were using 10 or more dictionaries on the people. The people didn't understand legalese. They didn't even understand this language that we were been given to speak, known as English, right? Which is supposed to be a slave trade language. What ended, up what ended up happening to them was um, they ended up getting themselves into hot water. So what happened to me, three o'clock in the morning, you guys, international authorities, you remember, right? The Spirit of God would wake me up. I'd have to write to these agents doing business as judges in their private chambers, in my red ink, handprint, handwriting, you guys, not on the computer, Three o'clock in the morning, I was up writing for people I knew and people I didn't even know just to get them out. A couple times, well, they would, um, after they would get out, they would tell me what would happen or what happened to them. They knew that there was an angel or some spirit helping them. They were called in to um, the so-called courtroom. Some of them had like, um, I want to say video type um court hearings, right? Where there wasn't really an entity in the room with them. They just had like a TV screen. And they said, one particular entity said that when he went up, um, like an angel spoke to him to just shut up and not say anything. Cause the first time he went up, I had to write for him twice. He went up the first time and was just babbling and saying all this crap. And they ended up putting him back in and that knowing that I already served them. Right. So I had to serve them again with the registered post to get him out. Right. And then I went to visit them when they, once they were free to share with them and show them what we said, basically. I say this to you guys, I say, to, say this to say that. When I'm out here and I'm telling you guys, I made this channel after, after we had had the successes. So I'm not asking anyone about this, that, and the other thing. I had already done all the work to set people free. And I didn't have anything negative about the agents doing business as actor judges, basically, because I'd worked in that um, industry. I was really young when I worked, I was just like a clerk, I didn't have any sense. I was doing the dockets for the agents doing business as judges. So I had high respect for them. I didn't know any of this stuff was going on. I was just guided by the grace of God. Grace of God woke me up three o'clock every morning like they do every single day. I'm so exhausted, you guys I have no idea. One o'clock, two o'clock in the morning to pray, meditate, whatever, and think and focus on this day, right? So people can be free. And so I say this to you guys, when you're out there, don't go into these buildings doing business as courtrooms and try to speak their legalese. Tell them, write to them in private. In, in private, you can write to us for, for an affidavit. We've shared it with some of you guys. Switch around the laws and stuff, because it's all laws, you guys. It's laws and history goes hand in hand. You serve it to the agent doing business as judge in private chambers, man. But more importantly, those of you in cases like what we're talking about now, do the GSA bonds. It's a lot simpler, right? That way you're not arguing with them, right? But if you have to go in, right, for whatever reason, you have court tomorrow morning, whatever, just tell them plain and straight. You do not speak legalese. You do not understand. Don't go in there and say those words, I understand. You don't understand nothing. To say I understand means you stand under. You accept all the charges. That's what those words mean. Never, ever, 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 ever say, I understand. I understand nothing. Okay. And tell them clearly, you do not speak legally, legalese. You did not go to law school. You're not an attorney. You're not a lawyer. Tell them the truth. Don't do like what we did when we first started out. We thought we had to, to know and study law and go in there like we were lawyers. We didn't know any better. We didn't understand that once we serve them, man, with our court 
um, our affidavit, our written in the nature of discovery, that stands as law, truth, fact, unrebutted when they don't respond and rebut what's in there under penalty of perjury with their full liability insurance bonds signed by who you guys, a lawful judge and a lawful clerk with date, stamp and seal, which goes back to what you guys, the Clearfield doctrine, the 1942 Supreme Court case that I talk about here all the time. Thank you to Grand Sheik Taj Tariq Bey for sharing that one with us here. There was a coup d'etat that took place in 1861. The 1942 Supreme Court case, the Clearfield Doctrine, was where the, um, the Clearfield, uh, in, I want to say, insurance company let the puss out the bag uh, to the agents doing business courts, whatever and the United States Corporation, that there was a coup d'etat that took place in 1861. I didn't even hear Russell Gould talking about that, man. Or the other voting crap that took place many moons prior. Decades ago, this stuff has been going on. And the fact that majority, if not all, of these so-called prime ministers globally, they're not even proper. They're de facto and also, you know, yeah, I don't even want to say it, you guys. Think about it. The point is, once they're subject, once these de facto agents doing business as, I don't want to call them governance, these actors doing business as governance are um, subject to using Federal Reserve notes, they're deemed to be in their private capacity and can be sued as such. You see what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Hence why um, so many of them have been um, subject to um, charges for war crimes against humanity under the Insurrection Act, um, genocide, treason, racketeering, peonage, estate, land theft, identity theft. Because the bottom line, it's identity theft, identity theft, identity, th identity theft. Since the creation of the birth certificate bonds, since we were born, those of us conscious Moors and heirs go back to using the Julian calendar, which is a 13-day time difference, different from the Gregorian calendar, which we're in now, and or the Moorish calendar, which is a 500-year time difference out. You see what I'm saying? We go back to the way we were as original people, right? Right? So that means we were not subject to, we were removed from the monopoly, the monopoly they have over the people, them, right? So I don't hear him talking about any of this stuff. And that I have issues with, right? Because we were the ones up in the wee hours in the morning writing to, for, you know, to get people free and stuff. And to this day, people are still writing to us in the wee hours of the morning. You see what I'm saying? To try to make sense of some stuff that they're being subjected to. Because, yeah, I don't know. I can't speak for other people and what they do. I can only speak for what we do here, right? By the grace of Almighty God. So I just wanted to say that so you guys are clear. Now, this is the video. This is our channel here. You guys can go and watch some of the, yeah, go to this channel. This this channel is amazing. Thank you, God, for that um, information that you've provided for all of us. This is the video. I'm not going to play it. This is Russell Gould here talking about, you'll see him serving, I think, an agent. I don't know, doing business as military because he's saying that he's a chief Supreme Court justice. For who? Under what? So thank you to Copper Aborigines who explained to us who is this guy and what's going on. Peace and love, Sister and Sister Noble Al. Wow. He's talking in the English, in an English language that the majority of lay people don't speak. It's not that it can't be understood. It takes time, meaning years of training in speaking and most of all writing in the syntax language. Um, and thank you to David Wynn Miller. May his soul rest in peace. I know that he's passed on now. I remember somewhere about 20 or more years ago when I first heard of the syntax language. It was by David Wingate. I want to say David Wynn Miller, but by David Wingate. Maybe that's somebody else. He was the first individual to explain this trick writing by those agents doing business as judges of the BAR. This is the... Um, uh, what's the, this is an acronym. I want to say the Bar Association, but I think it's, is it located in London? Is that the original head office? Anyways, a bar in those state, federal Supreme Court, um, those agents doing business as federal Supreme Court judges of America. 
of America, England, Canada, France, Germany, Scotland, Ireland, Virgin Islands, State of Israel, also Northern Mariana Islands, um, Army, Navy, Marines, Coast Guards, Samoan, American, other enclaves, enclaves. I have had the hardest time trying to understand this language. Um, this language is very old and kept close in secret by selected members around the world. For um, does this have anything to do with us as indigenous? No, it doesn't. I'm going to read that one more time to find the state wisdom of the seer so you can hear me. It Here's what he says. For does this have anything to do with us indigenous? No, it does not. No, it does not, which is what we were saying from the very beginning. We're I can feel the ancestors rising up in me and the angels standing around me as I'm speaking this. He doesn't speak to me. He doesn't mention me. He doesn't speak to the Indians. He doesn't speak to the Indians. He doesn't speak to the American Indians. He doesn't speak to the Elodi Tunnel, Morsh American Nationals. He doesn't speak to the heirs. He doesn't speak to us as holding the highest diplomatic office. Do you understand what we're saying? It does not pertain to us. We are on of the land. This syntax language is of the sea of merchants and corporations. We must continue to use all the scriptures, our prophets and master teachers. And I know that the Bible was for banking and I know it's for, it was our original trust. It was the original treaty. It's got a lot of different meanings and stuff. It's also an astrological Zodiac book. It's a whole bunch of different stuff. It's not just banking. <sighs> we are on the land. The syntax language is of the sea of merchants and corporations. We must continue to use the scriptures, our prophets and master teachers um, gave us in order to come out of the under, come out from under the trick language of these master, master masons of the elites we don't see or engaged with. Yeah, we don't see them or engage with them. If it's, if it's possible, I would like for you to get this book titled The Mystery of Philadelphia. I don't know how Copper Aborigines, but yeah, maybe one day I'll be able to get that book. Mystery of Philadelphia. This book is full of information we've never been taught. It was hidden for a reason. From what I've learned, this book teaches and shows our ancestors in a whole different light. And it shows why these people came here to a land that more than 8 million, that's more than 8 million years old. And the beautiful thing is an affidavit can be put together for all Indian of the hemisphere. Not one court can deny what they themselves already know. Yeah, because we're protected under the declarations for the rights for indigenous people. Why didn't Russell Gold mention that? Do you guys see what I'm saying? Or our two cent Navajo stamps. Why didn't he talk about that? Do you see what I'm saying? You guys are our red in, in I can't even I can't even speak in English as I'm going through this. Not one um, court can deny what they themselves already know that they have, that they hoped we'd never find out. Them putting it in writing, then record it with our Indian seal on our document recorded in their courts and with their court seal on them as well. We must record, record to come out from this de facto corporation and start to meet as our ancestors did in their time as leaders of the tribes of their people. This is why we really can't find where our people are hurting each other. We really can't find our people are hurting each other, but there was wars with the strange people that did come here at one time. This book is a true eye opener into the thoughts of our ancestors and the places with the name we never knew. You're going to be surprised to learn the names of our ancestors used all over the hemisphere. We must use these names and locations on our documents. You can st start by learning what the 40th parallel is. It's really important. And then he goes on to say, plus Sister Noble L, 
um, there needs to be an embassy for our people. Um, this is why we're still having problems getting things done on a large scale that we're experiencing. Think about it. It's important of our own to have our own nation embassy. You know, the only thing I can say there is somebody reported that the only embassy left open is the Morocco embassy, which I thought that was really key because we're on the land of Morocco, right? Um, the land known as Morocco. So I just wanted to uh, read that so that, yeah, you know what I'm, yeah. So anyways, you guys, I'm going to put the links um, to his video in the description below so you can hear what he's saying. I don't have anything against um, these people. I don't know them. You understand what I'm saying? To have anything against them. Remember, you guys, to please support us here. Go to PayPal at themillings.gmail.com. We'll put the links in the description below as it really helps us out here to continue doing all this research and answering everyone to the best of our ability. Um, and if we don't know something, we go to other elders and gods and ancestors who do. I All I get here is my um, uh, ancestors inside of me and the angel gods around me. My spirit rises up when I get crap or stuff that doesn't, mix well with them. Um, I get cross quickly or pissed out about stuff, or I will get the answer to it in the sense that my position from the very beginning, what I wrote to divine wisdom of the seer was that he doesn't speak to me. The entire time I've been studying out David Wynn Miller, Russell Gould, and this has been going on for years upon years. I've never once heard them speak to us as indigenous Moors, American Indians, Maroons, none of us. We don't exist for them. And if we don't exist for them, the question is why? So what jurisdiction was the question I was I was asking are they using? Because we use common law, common sense jurisdiction. I use the Bible, I use God. You see what I'm saying? Because that's how I was raised by my grandmother. That was the teaching that we had in our tribe, our family, or grow, growing up from when I was very little. So that's what I know that works for me and our tribe is the Bible, God, my spirit, my ancestors, my elders, my tribe. I go to my people that's passed on and speak to them, and then they will share with me through various forms, right? You see what I'm saying? So I always tell you guys to do you because you have... A set of people or ancestors or angels or gods or guys that you use too. And you guys share with us all the time the stuff that you've been doing. Now, last night they shared with us the Seed Bank, international authorities again. I'm writing to you to send us now the seeds and the seed bank. Our ancient organic seeds that are being housed in the time for times of war in that seed bank. I'll post the link in the description below so you guys can see I'm not making this shit up. They have a seed bank, you guys. The Norwegian people, them, are um, protecting it, whatever. That, that's I can't speak in English today. That seed bank holds all the seeds, you guys, from ancient times. We had seeds back in the back in the day. The other day, well, this was a while ago, I went to the market one day and one of these um, farmers was selling a papaya that was as big as somebody's head. And I was saying to him, you know, I bet you any money that's how the food was at one point. You would eat one banana for the entire day and he didn't have to eat nothing else because it was that gigantic. And then over the years, through all the modification programs and the GMOs and whatnot, they circumvented the purple carrot to the orange carrot and then did what they did to it to try to mess up the seed of the people that right and so those of us conscious now know that and we're asking the international authorities to go now and drop those seeds across the planet globally for all of us to have really big grapes apples peaches what have you across the planet because they don't just grow in Canaanite land, Canada, they grow all over the world. And what they did was they tried to get keep these seeds in these seed banks away from the indigenous people. So a lot of the stuff that we used to have, we don't have them here anymore. You see what I'm saying? That being said, 
That's all I can say there. Now, all right, you guys, like, share, subscribe. You guys have yourself a great day. Remember, faith without works is dead. Put God first and all good things will come unto you, right? Who's the God? Peace to the gods, you guys. Psalms 82, 6, you're the God. Let your light so shine before men so they may see your good works and glorify the Father which is in heaven. Where is heaven on earth? Who is the earth? The Moors, the heirs, the indigenous peoples, the earth, land, sea, water, you name it. That's us people. All right. So where's the God? You're looking in the mirror. You're the God. So the heaven on earth, that's you, man. So let your light so shine before men so they may see your good works and glorify the Father, which is in heaven, which is you. You see what I'm saying? Do good, you guys. Put yourselves first in all that you do and all good things will come to you. And make sure you do good on the planet. You know what I'm saying to you? Do good, right? Stay good, do good, walk good, right? And yeah, I always say... um, do unto others as you have others do unto you is the law of Matthew 7, 12. Do unto others as you would have others do unto you. It is the law of Matthew 7, 12. That's why I couldn't dog anyone when I get information, man. I got to go and do the research. I will tell them what's come to me, but sometimes they don't believe me. So I got to go to somebody else, a higher entity, a higher elder than me, so they can actually hear what other gods have to say right? All right, you guys, like, share, subscribe. You guys have yourself a great day. Go and do the research. Don't take my word for it. And thank you to the international authorities again. Fix Bill Express so that, yeah, we can use it if need be, or just, and set off those people's, um, yes, international authorities. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you guys heard this one. Some entities in Texas got this electric bill. I don't know what was going on over there. They had taken out some rules and regulations in their electricity um, billings system. And this one guy reported, he got a bill for 17,000. Speaking of which our $17,000 bill that we got here, remedy that on our behalf. Cause we've been getting some outrageous ones too, but yeah, go and remedy that set, they'll set off that and put it back in order. Oh my God. Letting the Sarah, Sarah kick in so the people can be free, right? Do that on our behalf. Now remedy it and send the people back the profits from all that corruption by the said agents doing business for the head of the Texas grid, the electricity company there. Yes. And set off all those massive bills that the people got recently, 17,000 for a uh, electric bill. That's madness, right? We got one here too, you guys. Anyways, like, share, subscribe. So yeah, deal with that. Thank you in advance for your speedy response to this matter. Bye. Bye. Noble, honorable, Angelina, the Alpha, El Ruben, I tribe, chief American, Indian, a little Morsh American national UCC one dash three zero eight. Without recourse, all rights reserved. I stand by the Book of Ruth, by our, by my deceased organ harvested husband and myself, Jackson. Thank you and have a great day.